Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on finding the sum of a geometric series on a Casio Classwiz FX991EX. In this video we have three geometric series and we're going to find the sum of the first 10 terms of these series using the Casio Classwiz. We're going to use the sum feature on the class whiz it's shift and this button here and you can see that's already set up with the sigma notation ready for us to use we also need the equation for the nth term of a geometric series and that's given here un equals a r to the power of n minus one let's just define what those terms are un is a particular term in the series a is going to be the first term of the series and r is the common ratio between each of the terms. N just refers to the particular term that you're looking for. So in the first example, we have an A of two, that's the first term in the series. And the common ratio, well, we've got to think about what would multiply each term to get the next term. So two times, well, two would give us four, four times two would give us eight and so on. So the common ratio between each of the terms there are is two. If you weren't sure you could take a term, and divide it by the previous term to find that. So for example, eight divided by four would give you two. 16 divided by eight would give you two. So the common ratio there are is two in this case. So let's input this into the class whiz. So it's two times, and then our r is two. So two times two to the power of, so power button. And then the sum feature works in terms of x rather than n. So we need to input x minus one as our exponent there rather than n minus one. Navigate right twice, and then we can input our limits on the sigma notation that we have here. We want the sum of the first 10 terms, starting with the first term. So we need one down here, x equals one. And then at the top, we want the final term that we want to find the sum to, which is 10. Just check that's okay and press equals. And here we have a sum, 2046. So that's the sum of the first 10 terms of our first series. Let's have a go at that again, looking at the second geometric series. We've got 5 to 15, 45 and 135. So our A in this case is going to be 5, our first term, and our common ratio R is going to be 3. So it's 5 times 3, and then power button, and then remember it's X minus 1 for the class whiz. Write twice, so we can then alter the limits, but again it's just going to be 1 and 10. First term to the 10th term and press equals, and here we have the sum to our first 10 terms, 147,620. For the last example, we're going to try a slightly different method. We're going to be using the formula for the sum of a geometric series. And here we have it, the sum to n terms equals, and I've, I have a variation here that's typically used when you have a ratio that's greater than one which we do have in this case, let's just take a look. Our A in the last example is going to be one, and our common ratio, a little bit harder to spot on this one, but it's perhaps most obvious between the first and second term. The common ratio is going to be 2.5. And because our R value is greater than one, this variation of the formula is the best one to use. So let's input that as it is into the class whiz. Let's start by pressing the fraction button to set up two layers. And then for the sake of completeness, even though the first term is one there, I am just going to input it in to get into good practice. So one times, and then we've got an R of 2.5 to the power of N, which is 10 in this case, we want 10 terms. So N of 10 minus, and then one, close the brackets. And then on the bottom here, the denominator, we want 2.5 minus one. Once we've inputted that, press equals. And here we have our sum, slightly more complex answer than the previous two, 6,357.162109. Now what we can do just to verify that is use the sum feature on the class whiz just to check that we've used the formula correctly. Shift and then sum. And then remember A is one, but I'm still gonna input this just for good practice. One times, and then the ratio is 2.5, power of X minus one. And then remember it's one at two ten for this example sum of the first 10 terms press equals and you see here that we've got the same answer there so i can just flick between the two of them and that just verifies that we've used the formula correctly we've got the same result as 
we have if we use the sum feature on the class quiz. So there we go, how we can find the sum of geometric series using the Casio ClassWiz FX991EX. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time on The Calculator Guide.